Welcome to this Giftworks quick video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new Smart Field feature that we've added to the mailing section of Giftworks 2010. Smart Fields are intelligent fields that you build and create and then insert into your letters to create more personalized and more powerful mailings, hopefully to encourage more donors to be involved, and more donors to contribute to your organization. So I'm going to demonstrate Smart Fields, and if you'll look on your screen, I uh, you can, we I'm going to click the sign in button to sign into my Giftworks database. Now let's pretend for the sake of this demonstration that my organization is an organization that's dedicated to feeding hungry kids. And so I have four new donors. If I click on my donor dashboard, I have four new donors that have just began to get involved with my organization. I have Mary Smith, who has not given a donation. I have Dave Weaver, who gave a $100 donation. Jonathan, who gave a $1,000 donation. And Steve, who gave a $0 donation. But if I look more closely at the donation, I'll see that, that it was actually a donation of food. And my organization uses a custom field called bags of food to capture the number of bags of food for this donation. And so Steve gave an in-kind gift of food and uh, five bags of it. And so with these donors, I want, to, I want to do and I want to use smart fields in my mailings to communicate with these donors in two ways. The first is to welcome them to my organization. All of these four donors have recently gotten involved with my organization, and I want to communicate with, with them with my new member um, welcome. The second thing I want to do is I want to thank those who gave gifts for their donation. So let's start with welcoming these donors to our organization. And so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my mailing section, and I'm going to click on the Send Mail link next to my welcome letters. It'll start the mailing process, and I can choose recipients, and you'll see the four recipients that are listed. If I go under Select Letter, I'll see that the New Member Thank You letter is selected. And within this letter, there's a couple things that I think I can use, uh, and a, couple things that I, a couple ways that I can use Smart Fields to improve this letter. So I'm going to click on Edit Letter. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the first thing is that we insert some text that says, thank you for beginning a partnership with us on, and we include their member since date. Then the next sentence says, make sure you pick up your welcome basket in the next three months. So our organization uh, gives a nice welcome basket to anybody that's involved with our organization that contains just some information, some literature about our organization. But we want them to pick it up within the next three months. Now, I could use a smart field now to, instead of um, just inserting the words in the next three months, I can insert a specific date, a certain by date that I want them to come in by. So I'm going to, instead of using in the next three months, I'm going to say by, and this is where I can use a smart field. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to need to do is calculate a, a date that represents three months from this member since date. And so using a smart field, I can do that. So if I click on the Insert Field button and come down to Smart Fields and click on Create a Smart Field, it's going to give me two options. The first one is to create a calculated mailing field, and the second one is to create a conditional mailing field. A calculated mailing field simply does a simple calculation based on some other information. So in this case, we're, we're wanting to calculate three months from the member since date. And so uh, we can use a calculated mailing field for that. So I'm going to choose Calculated Mailing Field. And it asked me for three things in this case. It asked me to pick a field. So I'm going to pick their member since date. And then I'm going to choose a function, in this case, add. And then I'm going to choose a value. In this case, I want to choose three. And then uh, frequency is months, or an amount, or uh, amount is months. And so I'm, I'm simply doing a, I'm creating a simple calculation, the member since plus three months. And so once I click OK, it will insert a smart field into my letter. Let's move on to the next sentence in our letter. This, le this sentence says, would you consider giving a gift to our organization? Now, if you, if you remember, three of the four donors did give a gift, but one did not. And so for those who did, we don't want to really ask them, would you consider giving a gift to our organization? We'd like to perhaps thank them for the gift that they did, did give. So in this case, I can use a smart field to indicate or to, to determine if a donor gave a gift, then I'm simply going to thank them for their gift. If they did not give a gift, then I'm going to ask them if they would consider giving a gift. So I'm going to delete the I'm going to delete this sentence, and I'm going to insert a smart field. My smart field, instead of using a calculated smart field, I'm going to now use a conditional smart field. What a conditional smart field does is it evaluates a number of conditions to determine what information should be inserted into the letter. So to build my, my conditional smart field, I'm going to first select a, a field, and the field that I can use for this is a, simply a field that says the number of donations. So if a donor's number of donations 
equals zero. In this case, I know that if you remember that my list of donors, I believe it was Mary Smith does, has not given any do donations. Then I'm going to ask, um, then I want the smart field to put, would you consider giving a gift? And then I click the add condition button. Then I need to build another condition that simply says, if their number of donations was greater than zero, which means they gave something, then I'm simply going to say, thank you for your gift to our organization. And simply click add condition. And once I've done that, I've built a small condition. This is a small set of conditions that I've simply evaluated some information and then output some text. And so you'll see if it says if the number of donations equals zero, then print would you consider a gift, giving a gift. And if the number of donations is greater than zero, then print thank you for your gift to our organization. I'm going to click OK. So I've inserted two smart fields, the first one being this one that is a calculated smart field that calculates three months from the member sin state, and then I've included this smart field, which simply includes the text, would you consider giving or thank you for giving. I can click OK. Once I do that, I can click on Generate Mailing to preview this letter. And if we preview this letter, we can see the first one is Dave. Dave, we know, if you remember, Dave did give a gift, but first of all, we see his... his um, his member since date, and then we see the smart field which calculated three months from his member since date. And we also remember that Dave did give a gift, so the letter simply says thank you for your gift to our organization. If I click next, you'll see Mrs. Smith, uh, Mary Smith, did not give a gift. So you'll see the smart field did calculate correctly for her member since date, but um, because she did not give a gift, our smart field calculated it so that it should, or um, determined that the, that the output should be, would you consider giving a gift? And then the next two will be the same as as Dave. They did give a gift, and so we thank them for their gift. And you see the member since calculates correctly as well. So in terms of inserting a calculated and a conditional smart field into your mailing, you can see how that can make your uh, solicitations more powerful. Let's move on to thanking these donors for these donations. And I'm going to start the mailing process over again. And I'm going to click on the donation thank you letters. And I'm going to show you some other smart fields that I've created. I've inserted these smart fields into my, my gift thank you letter. If I edit this letter, you'll be able to see what these smart fields are. I'm going to just simply edit the ones that I've inserted rather than creating new ones. And so you'll see the first two smart fields I've created are right in this first sentence where it says, thank you for your recent gift of, and I include two smart fields. I'm going to show you these smart fields to demonstrate what they're doing. The first one, if I right click on it and edit it, you can see that it built a conditional a smart, it's a conditional smart field. That says, if you read these conditions down below, it says, if the donation payment type equals food, then I want you to print the words, I'm sorry, then I want you to print the bags of food field. So in this case, it's building a condition that says, if the gift that I received um, was food, then I, want you to say, then I want the letter to say, thank you for your recent gift of, and now this smart field, if it's food, it will produce the, the bags of food custom field that I showed you earlier. So if you remember Steve's giving, he gave five bags of food. So it should say, it should output the, word, the number of bags of food. But if the donation type was not food, so it was cash or check or something like that, then it's going to actually print the donation amount. So that's the first smart field I use. The second smart field I use simply says this, if the donation pipe donation payment type equals food, then I want you to add the text bags of food. And so what I'm doing is building this, a sentence that says, thank you for your recent gift of five bags of food, if it was food, or if it was not, it'll simply print, thank you for your recent gift of a dollar amount. The second smart field is another conditional smart field that if I right click and edit this one, you're going to see it appears in a sentence that says, your gift will be recognized in our if I click on Edit Smart Field, I'm going to put simply, uh, we, we have these circles that are involved in our organization that simply recognize people in different circles. And it says, if the donation payment type equals food, then I want you to print the feeding, hung feeding the hungry circle. Or other than that, we have three levels of circles, silver, gold, and platinum, based on the amount. If the amount's between a certain amount, then you're silver. If it's between the next level, it's gold. And if it's over that, then I want you to print platinum. So you'll see I've, in, I've used two, conditional, two more conditional fields, or actually three conditional fields, to tailor this letter even more. So I'm going to view this thank you letter. I'm going to preview it. And you'll see, thank you for your recent gift of $1,000 to helping, the, helping kids. Your support is appreciated. Your gift will be recognized in our platinum circle. If I click on Next, you'll see that Steve, thank you for your recent gift of five bags of food to helping kids. Your support is deeply appreciated. Your gift will be recognized in our feeding the hungry circle.
and then so on. Um, Dave gave a $100 gift, which is recognized in the silver circle. Um, and you remember Mary Smith did not give a gift, so she was not included in this mailing. So you'll see in a very easy way, hopefully, that uh, smart fields can empower your mailings so that you can have more effective communication, so that you can encourage people to be involved in deeper ways, perhaps encourage more giving, um, encourage more contribution to your organization. There's a lot of different ways that you can use smart fields to, to do that in your letters. I'd encourage you to research, go to our website, and you can download our manual or view the guides that can help you use smart fields um, to create the most powerful communications that you can. So thanks for watching this video, and we hope that GiftWorks in some small way can help you and your organization accomplish its mission. Thanks.